Hi, I'm Seth Freudberg. I'm the Director of Options Training here at SMB in Manhattan. And uh, this week we're going to be going over uh, one of my favorite trades, which is known as the triple butterfly. And essentially what we're going to be talking about today is a trade which uh, involves starting your position wherever the market is and then allowing the market to tell you uh, what to do next as opposed to anticipating allow the market to tell you your next move and then have that move planned. So let's talk about the triple butterfly a little bit. Uh, the triple butterfly trade is a classic options um, income trade in that you start at the money and uh, you adjust it accordingly. Uh, this trade is a little bit complicated and I, I really don't recommend your uh, running out and trying one of these in the real market without a lot of experience and education. There's nuances here. We're, you know, we're not going to be able to review all the nuances today, uh, but I want to give you the sort of general superstructure of the trade just so you can get a sense of the types of trades that we teach at SMB and the types of trades that we trade on our trading desk here at SMB as well. So let's take a look at if we had what would have happened had we put on a triple butterfly uh, at the beginning of the March expiration. Uh, moving back about 30 days when the Russell 2000 index was trading around 1150. As you can see, uh, we uh, would initiate the trade by putting on an at the money butterfly at, uh, at, centered at 1150. And graphically, it looks like this. So what began to happen, as you probably know, since uh, uh, you know, in, in late February and early March, is the market began to rally pretty strongly. And so when the market rallies with the triple butterfly, what we do is add an, another butterfly. And this is a trade where you need to keep uh, your powder dry and have some capital uh, set aside for additional potential adjustments. And in this case, the adjustment is to add some capital by adding a second butterfly uh, above the first one. And so you can see uh, from this slide that that is exactly what we are doing. And so graphically, it goes from that sort of tent shape uh, situation to, uh, I call this the nuclear power plant look. It looks a little bit like a nuclear power plant to me. So uh, that is, um, that, that would be the next move you would make if the market uh, continued to rally. Well, as you know, uh, the market rallied even further. And uh, this is, this is a, this, a, a challenging month for a strategy like this. And, uh, but we just keep going through our protocol and um, let, let the options, um, the strength of options trading, uh, you know, prove out in the form of the profitability of the trade ultimately. So uh, here now uh, we have added our third butterfly. So in this uh, slide, you're seeing graphically what you would call a triple butterfly. Now, once we get, once we've added three butterflies, then we don't add a fourth. What we do is we roll the ones farthest from the market, uh, further, you know, further up in this case. Um, and so we're not adding any, more or less not adding a lot more capital to the trade. What we're doing now is simply rolling the butterflies around to respond to what the market is doing. And as you can see on March 4th, there was a very, very large rally. And uh, that, um, that necessitated our actually rolling out of our lowest butterfly and rolling into a new butterfly. And as you can see, that's exactly uh, what we did here. Uh, we rolled out of the original 1150 and we rolled up to the 1210 uh, strike. So now, if you want to take a graphic look at where we are on the trade, uh, it looks something like this. So we've followed the market up on an aggressive up move and we're still in the game. As you can see, you still have the potential to make a meaningful profit on this trade, provided the market cools off a little bit. And, and, and that's what markets tend to do. They, uh, you know, they'll take a hard move in one direction and then they'll tend to sort of find its bearings after that point. And that's exactly what happened in the last 30 days. The market started to slow down. As you can see from this slide, a week later, um, the trade uh, got a lot better. And with op the options income trading, time heals most, if not all, wounds. And as you can see, just from the market channeling around, once having made that radical uh, uh, rally up, uh, the market began, the, the trade began to get uh, less, uh, you know, 
unprofitable and began to uh, gain in value. And then, uh, as you can see from this price chart, the mar market really stalled out. And that stalling out is very, very good for income trades, particularly if that stalling out occurs towards the end of the expiration period. And so on St. Patrick's Day, uh, which uh, was, of course, March 17th, Monday of this week, uh, as you can see, the trade actually turned quite profitable. And that's simply because we followed the market up, we stayed disciplined, we did not over adjust, we adjusted when we needed to, and then we let the time decay of the short options in the trade slowly provide profitability to the trade. So as you can see, as of St. Patrick's Day, now we're, we're actually up uh, a nice amount of profit in this trade. And uh, as of this morning, which is Wednesday, uh, March 19th, the trade was actually up over $11,000. So um, this is a strategy that I, I, I want to repeat. Don't try this at home. Um, you need some education to do this strategy. There are nuances to it. You need to understand those nuances. But I wanted to give you a sense of the potential of an options income trade. And this was really a very good example of the triple butterfly. Uh, in summary, the triple butterfly is a strategy where we keep some powder dry and then uh, we add capital to the trade as necessary. In this case, the market told us add butterflies above the market. In other cases, it will tell us to add butterflies below the market. In any event, um, we do what the market tells us to do and then the, uh, the short options and the time decay in those options they do the rest, as you can see would have happened had you done this trade approximately in the March expiration. So with that, I want to thank you. I hope you uh, learned something from today's presentation. And if you uh, have any questions for me, please send me an email at sfroydberg at smbcap.com and I will promptly get back to you. Thanks very much. Thank you for watching this clip of our Options Tribe webinar. The rest of the recording is available on optionstribe.com. I'm Seth Freudberg and I've been hosting the Options Tribe since May of 2011. We've brought in options experts from all over the world to make excellent presentations to our members. So go right now to optionstribe.com to learn more about options education, or you can send me an email at sfreudberg at smbcap.com.